Hi, my name is Jesty, and welcome to another episode of Jesty Craft. I am currently here standing in front of our greenhouse that we built last episode. In today's episode, we are once again continuing the build a thon. I'm doing a new build every episode leading up to the 200th episode special. So, we should be able to get to episode 200 fairly quickly. Um, the build for today is already done. I'm about to show it off. You've seen it in the thumbnail, but I'm going to kind of tour it uh, in this episode. But I've already been working on the build for episode 199. Again, it's not going to be any Anywhere near finished it's basically me getting prepared for something else in the future but it's really exciting and I can't wait to share that with you guys next episode and then after that will be the 200th episode live stream which I'm also super excited about because at that point I'm going to update my world to the newest version of Minecraft and we're going to go ahead and get all of the new advancements in the game because part of what I do in the series is collecting all of the advancements along with collecting like all kind of mobs and stuff and building and basically just having fun in Minecraft so yeah the build for this episode is directly in front of me. Uh, you've seen it in the thumbnail, so I'm just gonna turn around and show it off. You're not gonna be able to see a good view of it right now because it's kind of in a valley, but when I turn around, you're gonna basically see it. So here we go. Da -da -da -da. So you may be wondering where I got bamboo from. I have not been to the jungle since the update that added the bamboo jungles to the game. But if you recall in the aquatic adventure episode, I passed up a shipwreck and I told you guys I would go back to loot it um, because in that episode I was mostly focused on following this treasure map so I was like okay I'll go back to that later so it wasn't even very soon after that when I went back it was several episodes later and I got a little lost looking for that shipwreck and I accidentally strayed into some unloaded chunks and at this point I was in 1.14 so I found another shipwreck a different one and yeah I found one piece of bamboo in there so I turned that one piece of bamboo into a lot of bamboo so let's just go this way we're gonna go above the bridge so we can take a look and and this is going to be my panda temple. I made an entire bamboo jungle behind it and I don't remember which episode it was but there was an episode that I said I wanted to add bamboo here when I eventually went and found the bamboo jungles. Uh, so yeah this is the biome that I'm kind of connecting to the jungle because they kind of go hand in hand and I guess I'll sprinkle in I haven't done it yet but I'll sprinkle in like single stalks of bamboo in the actual jungly part because that happens in natural generation as well so yes this is panda temple and my inspiration was jungle temples so i built the entire thing out of cobblestone so it looks a little odd i could have made it look better but i wanted it to look like a jungle temple and jungle temples are built entirely out of cobblestone so i did mix in um the mossy cobblestone which also jungle temples have but i did all kind of variations of cobblestone i did walls i have stairs uh slabs and this is made to look like a chinese palace i looked up images online of chinese palaces and their designs are fairly kind of I don't want to say simple because they're not simple, but they're kind of like rectangular. It's basically very easy to replicate in Minecraft, except for the roofs. This roof isn't exactly how they were, but this is what I did. Um, I figured it was fine. It's not. It doesn't have to be historically accurate or anything like that. Um, but I added lava because I thought that looked really cool. The sun is going down. I'm going to go ahead and glide onto the ship so I can add a subscriber for this episode. Um, and then we will go ahead and toward the build so let me just come this way actually i'll probably sleep first because yeah that needs to happen um so let's just come on down here and my bed oh i guess i left this door open at some point the pressure plate should have closed it with me just walking out but maybe i opened it and didn't come into the room i don't know but okay let's go up here and if you don't already know this is the squituary i usually enter from over there uh but this is where i add subscribers to my world so if you're interested in getting added here all you have to do is be subscribed, leave comments on my videos, and if I see you there often, that gives you a high likelihood of getting added in the future. So let me go in here. The subscriber that I'm adding today is dun, da, 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 Volpix. Volpix is a very long time subscriber. Volpix has been subscribed for well over two years, and they left the nicest comment on my last episode. They were saying that the crown gave them a lot of inspiration and they wanted to build something similar in their role, which was really, really cool. So yes, today I am going to add Volpix. Volpix is a snooper that is yellow and brown so Vulpix welcome to Jesty Craft I hope you enjoy your stay uh, I think it's a really cool looking fish I tried to find one that kind of looked like a Vulpix <laughs> uh, but I this was the closest I could come up with so it's like brown and yellow I was trying to get a brown and orange but like if you don't know trying to get the rare fish is really hard because the ones that spawn in schools are always the more common variations like the ones you see everywhere but if you want like rare colors they literally spawn singularly they spawn like by themselves 
one at a time and then it's like random or they'll be mixed in with a school there'll be a school all of one particular type of fish and then there'll be one that's like slightly different so it's really hard getting those different kinds i didn't realize that until i was trying to do it just now usually i just go and look for cool fish and whatever I get, I get. But this time I was specifically looking for something that looked like a Vulpix, and it took forever to get that fish. So, okay, I'm just gonna climb down here, or by climb, I mean fly. Let's just get on top of the little path here. And now let's go and tour the jungle temple, or the panda temple. Let's come this way, and let us go inside of the panda temple, which I really like. So, this turned out to be a little bit more complicated than I initially planned. You've seen me walk down this path several times in pretty much every episode of Season 2 because this is the way that I go to get to the Squidgeberry. Um, this was just a wall here, and there were like trees here. I had to chop some of the trees down. There was also like a little lake, which is still there, a little like water thing, and I'll show you that in a little bit. But my initial plan was just to put like a facade of the building like just the front part and then you would just go kind of through the mountain because I wanted to build like a little pit back there so the pandas couldn't escape and it turned into a whole building <laughs> like I don't know why um it's not entirely like it's kind of built into the mountain you'll see in a little bit but it, it's bigger than I anticipated it like turning out to be so okay we come up here and all of the like ground I guess I put mossy cobblestone I kind of uh, bury it inside but I also have vines because vines grow in the jungle and they're also on uh, jungle temples so let's go in so right here I might remove this but this is the water thing that I was telling you guys about initially in um, when I first built the squidgeberry I just kind of fenced this little thing off but then I built this on top of it so I left it here just in case I decided to do something like in the basement here but for right now there's nothing here so yeah let's get out of there close the trap door so these buttons are here solely to keep the vines from spreading inside Side here I just want them to be in the doorway um, and I do have some in here but like I don't want these to kind of get too out of control <laughs> uh, okay so we come up here and the reason this is turning to the left is because like I said I incorporated this build into the mountain the mountain was all right here so I kind of built a tunnel through it and then I kind of like built the building around the tunnel for the most part so we come up this way this way leads it to the panda habitat but we can turn around and go up the stairs I have all of my bamboo that I'm storing in here I'm gonna put scaffolding in the top one uh, because one of the things that I do with all of these builds they're all kind of themed based on what biome I'm building them in and what animals I plan to keep there and because this is the bamboo jungle I'm keeping all of my bamboo here and that gives me a reason to visit these builds often so that way I always have to like go to different places in my world to get certain items um, I think that's kind of cool I have a little bedroom set up up here I put the oak logs in the back to to make it look like a headboard I thought that was kind of cool um so yes I have a little double bed here and I put this bell here there's no point for that being there but I had this little alcove that I built and I was like I want something to be in there so I just stuck the extra bell that I had and I got two bells from the llama sanctuary episode we found a village that I thought was like discovered uh but apparently it was partially generated you can see all what happens in that episode but yeah I got two bells um, from that uh, village. So yeah, that's basically the interior. Oh, this is how I incorporated my Jesty Realm initials. If you look very closely, you can see the J combined with the R. So like I said um, in previous episodes, I started incorporating the Jesty Realm initials into all of my builds. So this is the way I did it here. It's really hard to see since it's all cobblestone and it's such a busy kind of block texture to begin with. So yeah, it's hard to see, but I know it's there. So that's all I care about. Um, okay, so now we enter into the panda habitat. And this is pretty cool. So if you don't know, in Bamboo Jungles, the ground is like basically pots all everywhere and there's like spatterings of grass so I tried to keep it looking as authentic as possible. I have a little water source here so the pandas can like drink from the pond if they want to and I spaced the bamboo out kind of far because I didn't want it to be too tightly clustered in here. I want the pandas to be able to walk around freely but along the edges it's very tight because I don't want them to escape so it's basically like a bamboo fence. Um, I don't know I don't think they can escape. I don't think a panda can get through that because pandas are really big. Same thing with the entrance to the building here. I don't think pandas can go in there. I think they'll recognize that as a full block and they can't fit. But we'll find out when I actually get pandas. So yeah, uh, and they can go as high as up to this point on the um, bamboo forest. They can get all the way up here. So my plan is there are, I want to say seven different types of pandas. I want to collect them all. So in the uh, 200th episode live stream we are going to go and look for a bamboo jungle because that's part of the um, advancements I need to get all of the biomes in the game so I'm missing bamboo jungle and bamboo jungle hills 
those are going to be the only two biomes that I'm missing from the overworld. When I update, I'm going to have to do the nether biomes as well. But for the overworld, we're going to need those to get the adventuring time. So yeah, I'm saving that for then. And when we're doing that, we'll look for pandas as well. Um, and I'm just going to breed them in the jungle because I don't know what kind I'm going to get. But uh, when we get them, I guess I'll look for all the different kinds, but I'm sure we're not going to find all the different, like, seven different kinds. We're going to find mostly, like, duplicates of some. So we'll just keep breeding them until we get all seven, and then I will bring them here, and I'll have one of each. And I think that'll be really, really cool. Um, and I think this is just big enough for seven pandas to live comfortably. Um, but yeah, that's basically this build. Uh, oh, I have the map in my inventory. This is what it looks like on the map. Um, I didn't make it shaped like anything. A lot of my builds, I make them shaped like things on the map. Not this one. This one is just this. So it's basically the panda habitat. But I think it turned out pretty cool. And I do want to show you guys a view from flying towards it. Because I think it looks really cool how I have it kind of nestled down here. I really like this. It looks like a lot of things are happening in this area. We have the squidward, the jungle, bamboo jungle. Now we have a jungle temple or panda temple. Yeah, I think it turned out pretty cool. So, okay, I guess that's going to be the end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the build. Next episode, we will tour the build for 199. Again, it's nowhere near finished. It's in preparation for something in the future. Uh, and it's, I think, a very, very cool idea. So I hope you guys are excited. But that will be next episode. Uh, but yes, if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye!